This is part four of Ninja Jumper made with Pygame Zero on Moo, where we're gonna be focusing on adding jumping to the game. So, so far we have a ninja who falls and he can move left and right, but he can't jump at the moment. So I'm gonna go down to my ninja move function. So I've got my gravity section, I've got my left and right movement section. Uh, then obviously I set the movement there and then I've got my velocity section there and now I'm going to add in a jumping section okay let's comment it out so it's nice and neat there we go so now we're going to have some code which um, presses the jumping so I'm going to say if keyboard dot up is pressed so the up key and collide check okay so it's only going to allow jumping if we are in contact with the platforms Okay, and I'm going to set that variable jumping equals true. Okay, so now um, when I've jumped, I'm going to, well, that, once I've set the variable, Boolean variable to true, I'm going to change the image. So I'm going to say ninja.image equals jumper dash up. That's the graphic I've provided for you for the ninja jumping up. Uh, and now we're actually going to make him jump up. Um, so we've, we're going to use this Boolean variable we've set up here to actually process the jump. So I'm actually going to press the delete key once to come back across. So I'm in line with this if above, and I'm going to write another if. So I'm going to say if jumping, so if that Boolean operator is set to true, and ninja velocity is ninja y velocity is greater than 25 we're going to do we're going to actually make the jump happen but um at the moment ninja velocity is going to be on zero so when we press the up key we then want to set the ninja velocity ninja y velocity to 95 okay 95 so that first bit we're setting the boolean variable to true we're setting the image to jump up and then we're setting the y velocity to 95 then if we are jumping and the velocity is greater than 95 which it currently is going to be if we press the up key then we're going to make it jump up but i don't want it just to jump straight up the screen because it'll be jerky okay i want a sort of gradual jump up just like in real life if you jump up you jump up quickly and then you slow down to the peak of the jump and then you come back down again so to imitate this i'm going to put in a nice little uh formula i worked out so we're going to ninja velocity, ninja y velocity equals ninja y velocity minus double brackets 100 minus ninja y velocity, close one of the brackets divided by 2, okay? So that means the velocity will, will, uh, will decrease um, as we, uh, we move upwards, okay? And then I'm going to say ninja y velocity... No, I'm not. I'm going to say ninja.y, so the actual y position, minus equals, because that, remember, going up the screen is going negative. Um, ninja y velocity divided by 3. Okay, and so this number is actually going to be the jump height, and I'll demonstrate that in a second. And then we're going to say else. This is all in line here. Obviously, that's very important. It's all in line. Else ninja underscore y velocity equals zero and jumping equals false so when we get to the top of the jump okay we're going to set the y velocity to zero at that point you're going to be in midair and therefore you're not going to be colliding and so gravity will kick in and it will bring you back down to the platform and we're going to set that jump to false so we're no longer jumping anymore so let's just test that one out there we go. So, yep, we're jumping up and it looks nice and fluid. So, we're jumping up, it's smooth, and we come back down to earth again. We can go left and we can go right. Okay, and we can jump up the platforms. I can interact with all the platforms. I fall off that one if it moves, but we'll work at that in a sec in a later video. And it goes up and down. So, great. So, there is the basic movement and jumping. Okay, um, but we are going to improve that. Okay, so there are some issues with this. Uh, issue number one is we can get into a jump loop. Watch this, if I hold up, look at that, very unrealistic. It just loops 
round and round and round and round. Obviously, the costumes need to be fixed. There's the, one of the other issues as well is I can zoom up through the platforms because it allows all that double jumping. Um, not quite double jumping, but jumping repeatedly. I can zoom across the, the map, okay? And the other issue that we've got is that the character can do lateral movement left and right in midair, which is unrealistic. So I, if I just demonstrate this, I can actually zoom across the screen very quickly, and it's, and I can still basically I can still move when I'm in midair. I can go left and right in midair, which um, is unrealistic. So I'm going to add in some code that's going to prevent that, and that's all going to be in the following videos. All right, so that was uh, part four of Ninja Jumper. Go and give that a go.